sorry. Hold on a minute. Um... Thank you, Shelly, for the bars. I appreciate it. Um, what does that say? Amber, I can't even understand what that says. Amberland, I feel for you so much after seeing these messages. You aren't your mother's keeper and you have a life to live for yourself. Now that everyone sees how my aunt really is, <laughs> um, I think everyone just assumed I was um, sitting on her throne. I don't really know. Um, but I tried with my mom. I tried so hard. I tried with my aunt and I my mom was literally living in a tent during, like, you guys know Oklahoma, um, it's really bad for their tornadoes, and it was really bad weather, I was, like, freaking out, I knew this, I think I was, yeah, I was living in Florida, I'm pretty sure, god, I get my times mixed, and she was in a fucking tent, and nobody went and picked up my mom, and there's so many family members in Oklahoma, and I was just, like, so confused, and I was just, like, I wish I wasn't in Florida. I would take her under my wing. I don't care how many lies my mom told me, how many drugs she was on, how much she manipulated me. I don't care. I wanted to help my mom. And I was very upset because my aunt wouldn't just take her in even for the night. And that really hurt me and it fucked with me. And I think I held a lot of resentment towards my aunt. And I think that's why I kind of became a certain type of way towards my aunt. Um, I do regret the resentment, but that's just kind of what it was. Um, when I was living in Florida, I didn't have all this money. Um, I didn't have all this money when I was living in Florida. Like, YouTube wasn't on and popping like it is now. And I'm not saying it's on and popping for real, for real. But, I mean, I can pay my bills. But, I only had a part-time job then, and I didn't have tons of money and all this stuff, but I had a roof, and I wanted my mom to live with me, and she just wouldn't, so, um, you expect your aunt to take your mom in when she was on drugs, for a night, yeah, um, my mom is my aunt's sister, obviously. My brother does drugs, and if my brother was living in a tent, and I was in the same town as him, or even remotely close, and he was on drugs, I wouldn't care. I love him enough that I would want him safe for the night, so. Um, the same man that searched for eight months for your mom to find her for you for us, walking all hours of the night. I don't know what you're talking about. For eight months. What? Um, yeah, I was super young when all this happened. Um, oh God, it's just, it's just a bunch of drama. Like, when I lived with my aunt, we didn't get along, really, and I was expecting us to, but my aunt and my mom got in this really bad argument. I'm talking, like, horrible. Um, and I stuck up for my mom, because that's just how it was. Like, I love my mom more than anything. And my aunt ended up kicking me and my mom both out, and I thought we were legit gonna have to live on the streets. And I'm just grateful my grandma was like, you know what, you guys can stay here. Um, it was very scary, <laughs> I will say that, but I'm just gonna say now, I was 18, and I acted out a lot, 
I had a lot of resentment. Um, a lot of resentment. Just for different reasons. And um, I just got out of foster care and I was expecting the best. But uh, I found out my mom was doing drugs again and she was drinking. But I still always stuck up for my mom. I don't know what it was. Um, it's just, no matter what my mom did to me, she was always still my number one. Always. So, me and my aunt would clash a lot because of that. When my aunt even just remotely disrespected my mom, even for a second, I would get very angry with her. And, again, I was 18, you guys. <laughs> So, like, I'm, I, every family has, you know, drama and issues and this and that, some worse than others, some less than others, and ours was really bad, and I'm just here to say I have done a lot of shitty things, and you guys know that, and I've been very open with that, and, um, I don't know. My aunt is just trying to make me feel worse. I don't really know. It's like, I've had a hard day today, and I'm on my fucking period. Hardcore, just, like, feeling miserable. That's why I look miserable. Um, I don't know. And of all people, like, I feel like you think that your family would be there for you. I don't know. Do you get regular periods? No. <laughs> I'm on my period too, girl. 20. Yes, 20. <laughs> you know it's here for you. It seems like it. <laughs> um, Seriously, dude, I feel like your aunt is the most negative thing in your life right now. And I think that's what I found out for myself. Um, I spent years trying to make our relationship better after I made mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes, you guys. And... I wasn't the best niece, um, but once I realized, what the fuck was my issue? Once I realized that I was wrong, um, I tried really hard to fix what me and her kind of broke. You know, it takes two to break something <laughs> in this situation, and, um, I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about it. Ale, why don't you and your aunt take this offline? I know this is probably awkward for a lot of people and really weird to watch, but this is the first time I've actually talked to her, like, in years. So, um, and again, now she's like, no, you hurt me, Amber, over and over. Just imagine how I feel. Um, Tammy, I think, is in her 40s. I'm very bad with people's ages and birthdays. <laughs> um, how did you hurt her? I don't know. Um, probably because I stuck up for my mom, and then when I noticed how my aunt was as a person, I held a lot of resentment, and, I don't know. Use swimsuit try-on hauls. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, regarding, regarding the whole, like, when I made that video, like, my aunt left me because I'm fat or whatever, um, very clickbait title, my apologies, which I have talked about before, but I think the reason why I felt that way, which I've talked about before, is because my aunt did stop communicating with me because she said I was self-destructing, and the only way that I do self-destruct is gaining weight and eating too much and such, so... That is how I felt at the time. This was about two years ago, though, you guys. Um, so. Are 
it is the grown-up's job to take care of the kid. And I was never taken care of. I was a parent a lot of the time. I think Amber should talk about this stuff more. It would help a lot of people. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. At least you have Becky now. She can be positive influence in her life. Yes, Becky makes me happy. And some of the best times that I have is when I'm with my new friends and when I'm with Becky. And, you know, that means a lot to me. And I know you guys haven't. I don't want to bring this up, but I'm going to. <laughs> I know you guys haven't seen Becky in a or not Becky, Destiny in a while and such. But I'm at a good spot with her now too, which is really weird because it used to be very like weird now. But it's like we barely talk, and when we do, it's good. Um. So, I feel like if I notice someone makes me feel, um, wait, why would she mind if you stuck up for mine? If your auntie loves your mom, why would she mind if you stuck up for your own mother? I don't know. Um. You said you weren't taken care of. Who took you to the soccer and hip-hop dancing classes? Staff. Staff members did. You guys don't know how hard I tried or all the tears she caused me to shed, but whatever. Yeah, um... I was about to call you auntie, but I feel like it's vile on my tongue right now. I just feel very shocked by you. Um, but, Tammy, <laughs> um, we both hurt each other, and I feel like that's very, very true in stance. And I have apologized to you over and over and repeatedly. I have begged you to accept my apology and for us to move on because have this harboring just pain and drama is not good for either of us and I have tried so hard and now you're shedding this to light and it's just making you look worse in a way because I don't know what exactly you're trying to get out of this thank you for the bars Kiera and uh, or Clara I'm sorry for anyone who has sent me bars or likes or anything I want to say I'm sorry um um, I want to say sorry for not saying thank you and such. I've just been really into this. <laughs> Whoops. Tammy plays victim. She's bringing out your lies. Of course, a few people will think that. Um, I'm not sure what lies she's bringing out because I literally just told you everything and I'm agreeing to everything she's saying. <laughs> um... Do you actually think that's even your aunt? Yes, I do. <laughs> I would do anything to actually be able to sit here and talk to my aunt privately. Um, like I said, FaceTime, email, text message, the phone. Like, I don't care. It could be anything. Um, but she chooses to just do this at my job. Can you imagine if I walked into, like, Hallmark where she works and I was like, yo, let's talk about some drama. <laughs> like, it's just sketch, but. <clears throat> I'm just happy y'all can see this. Like, I'm actually really grateful this happened. I know for a lot of people it's probably awkward and weird and probably very cringeworthy because I'd be questioning like, what the fuck was going on if I was y'all watching, um, so, um, I'm just glad y'all got to see this firsthand. When you, when you said that you had three jobs, I just assumed you still worked at Hallmark. <clears throat> no, YouTube's my job all the time. <laughs> It is. And you know.
Sorry, I'm just reading some of these. Thank you, Rosie. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Whoops. Um. Love you too, darling Desiree. Yes, Gabriella, we can be friends. Why don't you just call her and talk about things? Yeah, I don't know why the only way she'll talk to me is through this chat. I find it very weird. I don't know. It's just really weird. Um, how can you say that you don't lie? The next comment you make is you admitting that you lied to your aunt. Yeah, years, years ago. Years and years and years ago. <laughs> your aunt should be ashamed. This is crazy. Don't let it get you down. She's not worth it. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie, for the likes. I did get to know you. Um... You know, getting to know someone is not just their age, it's who they are as a person. And, um, I did treat you, I did treat you, sorry, because I just read the word treat. Um, I did get to know you as a person, and who you were, and, you know, I'm sorry that I don't know your age, like, I don't know my age half the time, like, <laughs> like, I apologize. Um, I don't know, I just... I would love to know, though, can you answer this? Like, why won't you talk to me personally? Like, why does it have to be on here? Oh my gosh, cry, because your much younger niece doesn't know your job or age. Wow, so much sure. Family is so important, and I hope. You, Amberlynn, will create a family full of love and forgiveness. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's super sweet. I'm sure Amber has huge walls up from her past. It's common from pe from what she shared. Maybe reach out in a positive way instead of always negative. Yeah. Dude, I don't even know my dad's age. I know. You know how many, like, for me even, like, I love my parents so much. But it's like, sometimes I have to sit there and be like, okay, my dad was born in 65, so how old is he? And I have to, like, count on my fingers. <laughs> because you try and manipulate me with words. No, I just honestly tell you how I'm feeling and the truth. Um... I'm not trying to manipulate nobody. Uh, is Father's Day going to be hard for you, or is it just going to be another day for you? It's going to be hard for me. It usually is. Um, my girlfriend's family, actually, which surprised me, and surprised her, too, actually, um, invited me to go and hang out with them over the weekend and to stay the night and such. I was very, very surprised. <laughs> I was just like, okay, yeah, sure. Um, so I'm going to be able to be kind of preoccupied. not send. Okay. Um. Uh. 
why would your counselor tell you to cut ties with your family? You know, I find that weird that they would say to cut ties with me, but not my mom, when my mom has been pretty bad towards my aunt. Um, that's really weird. <laughs> Bye, come Pondu. I'm going to miss you. Tammy, there's no way that you love me. Like, why are we doing this right now? Like, there's so many things I want to say to you, and it's like, there's no way that you could love me. Like, there's just no way. You want to see me change, and you're just spitting so much negativity into my life when I already have so much. If you want to talk to me, and if you think I'm good with my words and texting, then call me. FaceTime me. Um... I just don't understand. Um, anyways, y'all can, um, we can talk about something else, because this isn't going to go in a circle, and she's just going to keep making me look, like, bad, because I didn't want to talk to her on the phone before or whatever, but that was years ago, <laughs> like, years ago. I just don't understand, like, people do change, and I have changed. I've changed a lot, honestly. Um, thank you, Haley, for the bars. I'm hoping to go to Pride events, yes. Um, I'm sorry, Hannah, you'll be in my thoughts for sure. No lace velvet, you're not blocked. Um, talk about Sharla. Um, oh God, it's hard. Me and her were best friends. Um, we would hang out a lot. Rarity, what did you do? What did she do? I don't know what Rarity just did. Um, what was I even talking about? I don't remember. Ugh, other than all the drama, how has your week been? Um, Um, Charlotte said you changed. Yeah, I did see that. Thank you, Andrea, for the bars. I did see that. Um, and I agree. I've even told you guys firsthand that I've changed. Um, girl, you were talking about Charlotte. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Where was I going? Oh, yeah. We were best friends. Um, we would hang out a lot. And something happened, which I'm not going to go there. She just went, she was going through a lot. And we kind of got distant. Like, I would message her, make sure she was alright, let her know she was on my mind, and, um, then all of a sudden, like, she never wanted to hang out anymore, and, 
yeah, she never wanted to hang out anymore. And I was just like, what? And I don't really know what else to say about that besides, like, we drifted apart. She found new friends and I found new friends. And um, I don't know. I do miss her, though. Like, she was she was awesome to hang out with. I thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with her a lot. Um, what that one said when hanging out turns into being a personal chauffeur. I actually have never asked Sharla to take me somewhere. I've never asked her. So, that's not true. <laughs> um, drifting apart is much better than ending in a fight. Yeah, I guess. It's just, it is kind of sad, though. Because... I was watching old videos last night, like I said, and there was some with Charlotte in there, and I'm just like, we always had so much fun together, and she's such, like, just a fun person to be around. Like, when she's in a good mood, she's a fun person to be around, honestly. Charla said something different. Um, yeah, I saw her Q&A. She said something like, I wasn't the best friend, like... What did she, how did she word it? Something about the expectations. Um, so why don't you write to Sharla? I do. Like, we talk here and there. Um, she messaged me the other day just saying, I hope you're all right, you know. All right, my phone is like hardcore glitching right now. Um, what were your expectations with her that was not able to meet? I think she was talking about, like, because me and her didn't hang out for months. And um, every time she, like, like, when she was going through that thing with her family, you know, I tried to be there for her the best way I could be. Um, who was I texting? I was texting my girlfriend. And um, then, like, when I started going through something, I felt like she wasn't there for me. And it... Why is she replying so much? It's so awesome. Her break must be longer today. Um, my phone is so glitching. Why? Me no like glitchy. Okay. Um. I think you're in my show. Yeah, pretty much. Um, where's your girlfriend? She's at work. Sorry, I'm playing with my nose ring. <laughs> Maybe Charlotte didn't like the person you have become. No, I don't think that's it either because I remember there was a point when we were hanging out and she told me like, you know, you seem more carefree since you broke up with Destiny. But, I don't know, the last time I actually hung out with her was a while ago. Um, it was even before me and Becky started becoming girlfriends. And me and Becky have been girlfriends for over two months now. So it's been a while since I saw Charlotte in person. And, um, I don't really want to say, I don't want to spill any tea, so I'm not going to go there. But, let's just say that we... 
we did, we drifted apart, and I care about Charlotte a ton, and I will always be there for her, always, and, um, drink some water, I know I need to, I don't have any in here, which is weird, um, doesn't it make you uncomfortable putting all your business out there, I don't put all my business out there, there's things that, you know, yeah, um, Where did you get your shirt? I've had this shirt since like seven years. I've had this shirt and I got it at some, um, uh, it was a dollar store or something. Do you feel comfortable going to the nail salon or is it awkward? No, I feel totally comfortable. Sorry. I've been on here for so long, so I had to reply to a couple messages. Um, I remember that shirt from some of your first YouTubes. Yes, and it still fits me, so <laughs> let's be proud of that. Um, gosh. I can't believe I came on here with no makeup. What about Mary? Why is my phone doing that? Um, I haven't actually heard from Mary in quite a few bits there. Quite a few bits there. That doesn't even make sense. Um, oh my god. I wonder how she's doing. She's probably, like, all up in her wedding life. Um, be honest. Pants or no? I am wearing pants, yes. <laughs> I am. You should really think about opening up and sharing your childhood. I think your channel will grow and so many will relate. Yeah. Um, why are you always changing friends? I'm not always changing friends. What? <laughs> um, I've just been meeting new people lately and I'm enjoying my life and figuring out the kind of people I want in my life and you know, it just happens sometimes. Um, same with your weight loss journey. You could inspire so many people. Help so many. <sighs> okay. I'm going to do a little survey here. If I... Okay, I want you all to press 1 after I finish the sentence, if you agree or whatever. If I did a weight loss journey again, and I shared some of that online, and, you know, I chose what works for me, like, do you really want me to sit there and, like, make videos regarding it, even if you don't agree with how I'm losing weight? Do you kind of get what I'm saying? Because I feel like that's, like the thing that fucks me up the most is, like, people don't agree with how I lose weight. Like, some people are like, you don't need to count calories. Um, it's like, but counting calories is one of the most effective ways of losing weight. Or there's Weight Watchers. You don't need to do Weight Watchers. Or you don't need to do low carb. You don't need to do vegan. Or some people are like, yes, count calories. Or yes, do low carb. Or yes, do this. Yes, do that. I hate how thin this nail is. Oh my god, I hate it so much. Sorry, and I just, like, noticed at the corner of my eye. <laughs> but, um, a lot of people are saying one, but then that one's a bad idea. Do what works for you. Weight Watchers is counting calories. No, it's counting, um, macros, really. <laughs> um, if you went low-carb, you would lose weight so flipping fast. But I'm not going to be able to do low-carb because I really enjoy rice <laughs> uh, so um so
Are your nails matte? They are. You guys can't really tell right now, though. They would be a lot more, like, glossy looking if they weren't. Matte doesn't last as long as I wish it would, but... Um, yeah, I recently actually talked to someone who's doing low carb. I know them in person. And, um, they were saying how, like, low carb, they've been losing weight, but they do it because they have diabetes. They're not doing it to lose weight and such. And that they're supposed to eat three meals a day. And during each meal, they're supposed to have 60 carbs, and that's it. So that's 180 carbs a day, which for a lot of people, that's like, oh my god, there's so many carbs, but for some people, wait, no, yeah, 180, isn't that 180? For some people, that's very, um, wait, what are these people saying? Did Amberlynn get catfished by Becky? I've met her in person. Like, I hang out with her all the time, <laughs> like, what? Why is MTV Catfish interested in her life? What What is happening? I'm so confused. I love me some Catfish. I love that show so much. It's the greatest. Um, It's 20 a meal, 16 total. Um, Well, this person is supposed to do 60 a meal. Because it's not for weight loss. It's just for diabetes. But, um... It got me thinking... Like, wonder if I did, um, I don't know, a certain amount each meal. But then I'm like, well, I'm really good with counting calories. My problem is, like, I'm very indecisive. You know, right now I am, um, what? Sorry, I'm literally dying at this catfish talk. Okay. Um. Like, I'm very indecisive, and it's like, I know there's, like, several different ways to lose weight, but it's like, I don't know which one would be right for me. That's high for diabetes, though. It is, isn't it? Because I was literally there with him when he was eating and everything, and he had to do 60. Dang, maybe he wasn't supposed to do 60. And that's what they thought. But, I mean, who's going good? I like sports. I don't. Someone said do more exercise. Yeah, I definitely should. I'm thinking dancing. I love dancing. And there's so many dancing videos on YouTube and such. I need to do my laundry. So I need to get off of here so I can do my laundry. Um, Amber, you're very pretty. Thank you for saying that. And I'm literally wearing no makeup. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> and I'm like a slump. Like this is what I look like when I'm slumping. Like hardcore slumping. Um, like when I lost the 89 pounds, I know I go back to that a lot because that's a time in my life where I was very proud of who I was and what I did. Like, Losing 89 pounds for me was amazing. That was 11 pounds away from 100. And I wish I would have kept going. And, um, hold on. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Where was I even at with this? Oh, yeah, okay, so when I lost 89 pounds. Um, I would eat out very little. I eat out more now than, like, I ever have, I feel like, besides living in Florida. Um, but I'd rarely eat out, and if I did, like, you know, I would get what I wanted, and this wasn't on my way, kind of. Not true. Um, but I would just count calories. Like, I was very into, like, calorie counting. I did Weight Watchers for a minute there, but I would eat pretty much whatever I wanted, and I did a lot of processed. I did a lot of um, TV dinners. TV dinners was like my go-to. But um, I would eat a lot of TV dinners. It was just easier. And um, it worked for me. And I was able to lose weight. Um, but it's like TV dinners kind of make you feel a little crappy when you eat them a lot. 
it's probably because like the mixture of sodium and such, but um I don't know. I have I have done every diet. I have been a vegetarian, I've been a vegan, I've counted them calories. Um I did the whole there's like this wannabe Jenny Craig um thing where you don't have to actually be a part of Jenny Craig to do it. I've done that. I've done the TV dinner diet. I've done 1200 calories a day. I've done did I say weight watchers? You know, I've done intuitive eating. I've done everything besides low carb. Low carb is the only thing I've never done before. Um and I just I don't know how well I would do because I love carbs carbs kind of give you energy and I don't know how my body would react to it and there's this thing called like the carb flu or something like that it's like what if I get that I feel like I would get that I feel like that would be me um I don't know if I could try one day doing like a certain amount of carbs and then seeing how I feel and then like the next day eat less I don't really know I don't really know there's just so many things that you can do to lose weight. Um, the carb flu only lasts a few days. Okay, so that means you do know about it. So what does that mean? Like, what is the carb flu? Like, what happens to you? Because that kind of, like, freaks me out. I don't know what to expect. Like, I don't want to sit here and feel sick all day, you know? Um... You get a headache. <sighs> Um. Oh my god, no sushi. That would be hard. A lot of people are asking, Link, is Becky there for you and such? Becky told me one day on the phone, it was the cutest thing in the world. Um, we were on the phone, and she was like, you know, when we move in together, like, I want to help you lose weight. Like, I want to do this together. I want to eat healthier, and I just thought it was the sweetest thing in the world. Um, I just was like, wow, she really, like, cares. <laughs> you know. I think you do better eating what you want, but smaller portions and dancing, like you said. Yeah. I don't know. I just know that, like, I need to do something. Um, I'm just really happy that I'm not gaining weight. I am very happy about that because the haters want me to reach 500 pounds so bad. And I'm like, no, boo, not doing that. Um, I'm very happy that I'm still down weight from my highest. I'm down almost 20 pounds, which is not much. That's horrid. But it's still, like, I'm not gaining which is surprising in, in some tenses. But I'm jealous. I'm overzealous. <laughs> One of my favorite songs. Oh my god. Anyways. Um, so I'm just happy I'm not gaining weight. Besides when I'm on my period. You literally eat enough rice for five people in one sitting. I know. And then I literally won't eat really anything all day long besides that rice. And I'll like have like, some bad snack later on. See, that probably could be, um, you just said you gained five pounds. I literally just said I gained five pounds for my period. Um, two years ago, did you think you would be at your weight now? No. Mm -mm. Nope, I did not. But you ate sushi that day and then ate all that rice. Yeah, I know. I love rice. Kato is heart disease waiting to happen. Why? Why would that give you heart disease? How much did you weigh two years ago? Hold on. We're going to do a little looky-boo. See, this is why I love having YouTube also because... I can go back and be like, oh my god, that's how much I weighed then. So, okay. Um, I'm going to go back a year and then go back another year and then see, like, the differences. I'm scrolling right now. I'm just, I'm at nine months ago. 
Oh my god, that's all I can see? Y'all do it for me. For some reason, I can't scroll anymore. Um, the farthest I can go back was nine months ago. I weighed... This video is so long. Hold on. Where the heck is that shirt at, though? I haven't seen that shirt in so long. <gasps> that moment when you click a video and you miss the sh that shirt. Oh my god, where is that shirt? I want that shirt right now. This video is 17 minutes long. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see. How much do I weigh? Love to like go to the gym or it was gradually repeating itself. Okay, I have some investigators back there back there. I mean back up in here. Can y'all figure out how much I weighed a year ago? I'm pretty sure it's about the same. Two years ago. That's probably one kind of scary. Keep it in touch with Crystal. Yes. Um. Yeah. Two years ago, I'm pretty sure I was sitting at about 400 pounds. And a year ago, I'm pretty sure I weighed about the same, if not a little more, a year ago. How much do I weigh currently? Um, 474, I was 469, but then I gained weight because I started my period. It happens every single time I'm on my period. I hate it. Can you step on the scale for us right now? Oh, gosh, no. I just got done eating earlier. Mm -mm, I'm not feeling the greatest. But I, I'm not happy with myself, you guys, at all. Like, in the sense of, like, appearance um, and health-wise. Like, at all. Um, and I, I would feel so much better if I lost weight. Um, I really would. Like, I look at it as, like, a big picture. And I think that's what, like, scares me the most is, like, knowing how much weight I have to lose. There's a lot of weight I gotta lose, and y'all know that firsthand. Um, but if I look at it as like a smaller picture and just be like, okay, I wanna lose 10 pounds, and that's all I'm gonna think about is those 10 pounds, or okay, I wanna lose 15, and you know, just do small little goals, I feel like that'll help me more because each goal I bypass, I'll be like, I did it, oh my god, I did it, you know, and I'll get all excited about it instead of. Thinking of it as, like, this big old gigantic thing, because then I'll feel like I'll never want to even try to even attempt, you know? You were really looking good. I know, I know, and it's like, I don't even want to do it for just myself. I want to do it for the people around me. Um, I want people to look at me and be inspired, and I want people to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... I really, really want to, and I know I always come on here, or on YouTube, really, and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and I don't do it. I end up gaining hella weight, but I think the fact that I haven't gained hella weight, I think that says a lot, that somewhere up here, I'm choosing not to eat as much as I used to, if you get what I'm saying. 
oh my god someone said we don't want you to die see that that hurts oh because i feel it too i don't want to die either i do not want to die everyone dies but i don't want to die young and i don't want to die because i was fat <laughs> like god that shit hurts when people say that because i know what you mean <laughs> 18 months ago, you your weigh-in was 430.2. So that was a year and a half ago. It's crazy. Um, have I ever genuinely looked into weight loss surgery? Um, not really. So... just sucks that I'm fat. <laughs> like, I feel like I could be such, like, I don't know. I feel like my life could be so much better if I wasn't this size. I feel like there's something inside of me that craves adventure and craves, like, a real career and craves just this life that I can't get when I'm this size. And, um, it just sucks. Because <sighs> I've wasted my life, for sure. And it's something I think about a lot. Um, the last time I went to a doctor... <sighs> November. It was really, like, the ER... That's why people give up on you. I know, and it sucks. Because I feel like if more people didn't give up on me, it would make it to where I wouldn't give up on myself. If that makes sense. Um. Thank you, Dirty Tucson. <laughs> Is there like an in-house program somewhere you can go to? Probably not. You should start a support group for weight loss. Yeah, I probably could, but, like, I'm scared that there would be someone in there that really wasn't there to be supportive, and they're really just there to, you know. <laughs> um, I have actually, before, a while ago, I started an Instagram just for weight loss, and um, I got, what was it, I think 3,000 followers in the first day. And all I did was post, I think I posted, like, a before picture and a little bit about myself. Um, I posted, like, a picture of a meal that I ate and then, like, a quote. And I got 3,000 people who followed me in just one day. And then after about a week, I stopped posting on there because someone from my YouTube found it. And... I mean, I have a bigger following now, and that was back when I had, like, less than a thousand people. Um, thank you, Diana. I appreciate that a lot. Um, but, yeah, it's like, if I made, like, a weight loss Instagram, I love those. I follow, actually, a couple of weight loss Instagrams, and I love them. They're so motivating. And it's like, if I did that, there would be haters because, um, haters just follow me everywhere. <laughs> and I don't know if I'd be able to handle that, you know? It only gets harder the older you get. I believe it. That's your phone. <laughs> um...
what, in your opinion, is the hardest part trying to lose weight? Um, I think the hardest part for me and my journey, not for everyone's, but for me, I think the hardest thing is, like, I have a food addiction. I have binge eating disorder. I'm an emotional eater. I feel like if I didn't have such an addiction, I feel like it would be a lot easier, for sure. Food feels like a friend when you're lonely. That is so true. That is so true. It's really hard for me. <laughs> yeah, eating healthy is kind of hard. <laughs> for sure. I'm going to get worse if I don't change my eating habits. Yes. Thank you, Wasabi. Wasabi Mommy. <laughs> um, you are so much calmer and likable on this than in some of your YouTube videos. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like hyper and I'm just like bah, bah, crazy in Berlin. And then other times I'm just like laid back and like, I don't know. I don't know. What's the longest amount of time you've been on one broadcast? I think a little over five hours, but I was with a friend, so it was easier. And we would just, like, play around on here and such. But um, when I'm on here by myself, it's kind of hard <laughs> to be on here and keep up combo for so long. My hair, though. Right, man. I need to do my laundry. Oh, I hate doing laundry. Worst part of doing laundry is putting your clean clothes away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could watch you all day, Amberlynn. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, take us with you to do laundry. God, no. Um, an eating disorder treatment program. I wonder how that would go. Did I see Trisha's live mukbang? I did. And she said that she subscribed to me. And I'm just like, oh, I'm subscribed to you too, girl. <laughs> um, my hair, though. But yeah, I'm super excited because tomorrow night after work, Becky is going to come here. And then we're going to go... The next day, we're going to go to her sister's, and we're going to stay there. And um, then the next day, we're going to come back here, and she's going to stay here. So I'm super excited to be spending more time with her. I feel like I've been spending more time with her than I thought we'd be spending together because we do live not too far from each other, but I'm pretty excited. <laughs> um, yeah. I like her a lot. Ding! <laughs> oh my god. Um, have you went to the Bath and Body Works sale yet? No, I have not. Rarity Gray. Mama said no. Just like, what? What? <laughs> Someone said something about divine munchies. What about divine munchies? Literally, she's probably my favorite. Lately, my favorite mukbanger. 
like how she eats. I just love watching her. <laughs> oh no, that's not so weird. Oh my god, I'm so weird. I just love her so much. So awesome. Love you, Diana. Do I have any summer trips planned? Um, not quite yet. I'm always gonna want to make it move. Oh, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Divine Munchies loves you. I know. I can't believe it. Like, it's so sweet when another YouTuber shouts me out and they're like, I love Amberlynn. I'm just like, why? But thank you. I'm going to want to make it move. Now I have Miley in my head. Are you going to VidCon? Probably not. You look cute when you smile. Thanks. Nice little awkward. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, because you're real, we all think you're great. Thank you. I appreciate that. I've been on here for how long? Two and a half hours? What? So Chantel eating show said she loves you too. I love her too. I love her late night. Um, what do you call them? What do you call them? Live thingy majiggers. I'm digging that because when I'm waiting for my girlfriend to call me or something, I'll just lay in bed and listen to her eating show. Um, well, it's not really, she doesn't eat every time. She really just, like, smokes or talks or, you know. I love it. Thank you, Sam Baby. I appreciate it. Um. Oh, my hair. It's annoying. Y'all should, like, ask me questions. I feel like I don't know what to talk about. <gasps> what do I talk about? Um, I'm definitely thirsty. I need to do laundry. Um, I need to do my dishes. <laughs> like, these are all things that I would be doing right now if I wasn't on here. I wasn't planning on coming on here. But I just got really sad, like, seeing the reaction that my new video um, got. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to come on you now and talk to them. And, uh, my favorite color, I have a few, black, maroon, and pink. Um, can you do an updated makeup video? I pretty much do my makeup about the same as I did in my last video, but I think people just enjoy Get Ready With Me, so I guess I could do it next time I do my makeup if I remember, which will probably be tomorrow. <laughs> 